Last week, there was a $1.6 million sale. Unity dropped an announcement that is massive for Web3 Gaming, and a random DeChain project captured the market's attention. Find out who it was and more in this NFT Weekly Recap by MVHQ. We started the week off with a bang. On Monday, February 27th, the golden key from Dookie Dash was sold for 1,000 weath, or $1.6 million. Yuga Labs also announced their entry into the Bitcoin ordinal ecosystem with an upcoming collection called 12-fold. This is an experimental 300-piece collection that went on auction yesterday and ended today. Other than that, it was a slow news day. Floors were down pretty much across the board despite over $71 million of volume. On Tuesday, Decentraland announced preparations for Metaverse Fashion Week, including the likes of Tommy Hilfiger, Dolce & Gabbana, Adidas, and more. We also got a huge update from Unity, the gaming engine. The update supports integration of MetaMask into games by offering a SDK to utilize tokens and smart contracts in various ways. This is massive news for Web3 Gaming and really just crypto in general. Wednesday marked the end of Lick the Toad. That's the LSD version of Dookie Dash. So many gamers and gamers for hire were sweating it out for the final minutes. There was also a stimmy from Parallel Alpha in the form of Prime Tokens, and Alluvium tweeted that their collectible card game is set to officially launch March 7th. MetaMask also dropped a pretty big announcement, unveiling a new game launcher called Hyperplay. The idea is to, quote, bring MetaMask into native games by aggregating stores like Epic Games to overlay MetaMask into their interface. Oh, and Binance dropped an NFT creation tool that uses AI, and Snoop dropped some Dr. Bombay physicals. On Thursday, NFT volume picked back up a bit from the midweek lows, pulling in 77 million dollars for the day. Unfortunately, most collections were once again in the red, along with the entire crypto market. Despite this, there were two mints that had a lot of attention. Momo Guru, a storytelling project led by an Emmy award-winning team, and Crowds, an open edition from Danny Cole, the creator of Creature World. Both saw tons of volume, with the Momo Guru floor landing around 0.5 ETH, up 125% from mint, and Crowds ending the day at 0.02, down roughly 30% from mint. Can you guess which one I minted? <laughs> Neither of them held our attention through the weekend, though. That honor belongs to the owls. The on-chain text birds pulled in over 8,000 E throughout the weekend. These calculator emojis took flight from a 0.01 floor all the way up to like, I don't know, 0.45? Are they still going? <laughs> The weekend was full of huge announcements you're not going to want to miss, so let's do a rapid fire news round to get you caught up. Doodle shared their Doodle map, including things such as Doodle Records, Planets, and the studio. Yuga delayed the next sewer pass event, The Summoning, until March 15th. Cyber Brokers announced an upcoming airdrop called the Pixel Brokers. The free mint base from Coinbase changed its metadata to pay homage to checks. And finally, Yuga filed a trademark for a real-life version of that tempting jar of Coda juice we saw on the other side trailer. It's got to be better than Prime Energy, right? That's it for this week. If you would like to read the full weekly recap published by Metaverse HQ, head over to our blog at nvhq.io and be sure to subscribe, follow, or join Metaverse HQ to stay up to date on all things NFT.